Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're making a wedding band thing. Of course you can adapt it to any occasion, but I just wanted to show you how you can make your very own band thing for your special event. For this project you will need lots of fabric. If you haven't seen the previous fabric band thing tutorial where I'm showing you the types of supplies you can use, you'll find a link in the description below around 3 meters of bias binding or white ribbon for assembling the bunting and some felt for the letters, a 12 by 12 inches sheet of felt will be just enough. You will work with your fabric folded in half, this way you create both faces of the flags at the same time and the bunting will be reversible. So trim your fabric uh, to be 16 inches wide, then fold it in half lengthways uh, to make it 8 inches wide. Next take your ruler and pencil and make a mark at every 6 and a quarter inches on the top. Do the same on the bottom. Then trace vertical lines. This uh, will be the width of your flags. Now we need to create this sort of flag shape. So mark half an inch on each side at the bottom to create the ends of the flag. Then fold the flag in half, pressing with the fingers to create a fold. Open. And take your ruler and mark on the middle fold at two and a half inches. Then you just need to connect all the marks to create the bottom of the flag. Cut out all the flags. Make as many flags as you need for your bunting. Print out the just married words and decide on the order of the flags. The letters should be around 3 by 2 or 2 and a half inches. Take your felt and trace the letters on it using a pencil. I prefer tracing them mirrored, as this way you won't see any markings on the letters when you sew them. Cut the letters out and pin them onto the flags. Make sure you pin them on only one side of the flag. Next, uh, you will sew the letters. Then place the sides of the flags right sides together and sew them leaving the top open.
this is how the flags look like after being turned inside out. You just need to flatten the seam using an iron and make a seam close to the edge. The next step is adding the bias binding or the ribbon of your choice. So place the flags in the right order. And pin them into the binding or ribbon. Make sure you leave a on 1 inch gap between each flag. Then just sew everything. This is how the bunting should look like in the end. For assembling I used a white ribbon and made a small loop on each end for a hanging. That's it everyone, I hope I inspired you to make your own bunting. The fabric bunting is great as you can reuse it or use it on the other side to decorate a room. Thank you so much for watching, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!